So hello everyone. Today I welcome you all on the behalf of Monomosami Services, and we have a really special guest with us in form of Omesh Ravindu uh, Subhash Singh. I apologize for the pronunciation if it is. And so welcome Omesh. How are you doing? I am. Um, I'm doing great. How about you? Yeah, I'm. I'm great. So Omesh is a really special guest with us today. He is from Sri Lanka, and he's only <clears throat> 16 years of age. He has his own YouTube channel, and he regularly uploads content related to music and um, video editing and production. He is a very uh, fluent <clears throat> essay writer. And he writes really well. I can tell you that. And he loves listening to songs. and he's into dancing as well and aim, aims to be a teacher in in future so with these words i would like to welcome you once again so <clears throat> omesh to begin with i would like to ask you um, to introduce yourself tell us about yourself and how has your writing journey been till now thank you thank you for the amazing introduction Uh, hi, I'm Omesh Ram the Super Singer. Now I'm 16 years old. I'm from Sri Lanka. Uh, I studied in Lodsa International School, and now I'm studying in Malabar Boys Model School. Uh, I have four members in my family. Uh, I love singing, creative writing, acting, and singing. My writing career started when I was small, at the age of um, seven, eight. uh because of my school we had a lot of poem singing reciting and creative writing contests so um whenever i uh, contest or participate in one of those uh competitions i always get a place you know maybe not the first place every time but at least third or second place so um after winning a lot of uh, creative writing um, competitions i thought that i should start writing as a hobby so i do writing as a hobby yeah yeah that's that's really interesting that you started writing when you were only 7 or 8 years of age so uh, how, tell tell us more about how you came to know about monomosami services and Uh, how the association has been with with the monomasami actually you know during this uh, covid pandemic situation sri lanka has been in a quite a few times in lockdown yeah. so uh, schools are closed and you know essay writing competitions are not held online through schools um so um you know i was getting a little bored and i was thinking um you know my writing my writing ability will be you know break because of this so um i just went to uh, the google and searched essay writing competitions and the first result was monomus services and i'm so thankful that monomus services was the first one because once i clicked the link i was so amazed of website and because it has a say competitions each every month mm-hmm. and they also do these kinds of interviews with the winners so i'm really happy and proud of monomus service yeah thank you so much for your appreciation uh, we have been trying our best to promote writers and readers like you and doing our best so that you can learn whatever experience uh, the experts uh, in our team have and we are also trying to learn from different people and engage them in different kind of activities so um, who has been your uh, inspiration for writing and do you have any role models and uh, any any favorite writers and like that well um personally i don't really have a role model who is a writer Yeah. but uh i have a role model who i really admire the most uh she's lily singh you might have known she's from india and um she has her own youtube channel uh and she's a comedian so she has written 
um, one to three books. So um, I get inspired by her a lot. Uh, I use, I get ideas and get inspired by her for even for my YouTube channel. Yeah. So she is the role model I admire the most. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That you've been taking inspiration uh, from her and now you have your own YouTube channel where you upload your content regularly. So uh, as we go ahead, uh, so you you have taken mentoring from Monomasini Services as well, and you have been associated with us for some time now. So how has it changed uh, the way you write or uh, the way in your personality has been shaped in the last few months? Because you, uh, as you mentioned that you first came to know about it during the COVID time. So how has it, it, it has changed from that, from then? Well, um, my writing style uh, has changed a lot since uh, the COVID-19 has started. Yeah. Um, I uh, first, uh, you know, people when start starting to write something, they just take something out of Google and just copy and paste it. A lot of people do that. Yeah. So I believe that's not creative writing. And when I entered Monomosumi, uh, the first uh, essay writing competition, uh, which was on July. And when I entered it, there was a set of rules and regulations for it. So I was a bit nervous about it. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit nervous. So then there was this highlighted word called plagiarism. So um, whenever we write an essay, we should first upload it uh, to this given link. And then we should check for plagiarism as well. So my first uh, essay was about a one fourth sportsman who has changed history. So I just wrote about a legend from Sri Lanka itself, uh, Mr. Kumar Sangakara. So yeah, I'm so happy that yeah. so I'm so happy that uh, I won it, uh, and you know that's how we went. Yeah, because whenever someone is writing plagiarism, is an is a very serious offense like if you go into if you go uh, into the professional writing and it's very important that from the beginning whenever we are developing habit of writing we take care that we don't copy paste content from from one place to another so uh, that is one of the things we have been trying to uh, we have been like trying to inculcate within our writers and people who are participating that they should avoid plagiarism of any kind so uh, going ahead, can you like uh, for our audience, can you give some tips to them related to writing and uh, if, if you can share about your experience of writing as well, yeah, that, that would be really helpful. Yes, so as I mentioned before, I'm a student. Yeah. Um, so as a student, we, we have uh, a lot to write, you know, books getting filled with words and yeah. sentences. So. Uh, so whenever we start writing, um, whenever I start writing, I have some special tips and I have a unique style of writing. So that, I think that because of that only, I get the chance of winning competitions because of the unique writing style. So my first uh, tip is to be concise, you know, make your writing short, but sweet to the point. Editing your work is also important. Even the best content has mistakes. Yeah. So get for grammar and spelling mistakes. The next tip is be clear. You know, information should be easy to understand and not frustrating. So if you write something, a creative writing, a content or an essay, a speech, a poem, if the reader cannot like understand or they get a bit confused, I don't think it's a great book uh, or a content. So be, being clear is really important. So the last one is tell a story and also make sure your passion goes through throughout your content. So we all love to hear stories, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Many successful creators, uh, many, many successful creators use stories their personal stories or stories made up. So because of those stories, they are 
ideas or creations get really famous and people really admire them because of their IT ability. So another factor is letting your passion throughout your work because you never know writing your own passion about, or writing about yourself really can get you to a place. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a really important thing, I would say. Yeah. So mm, you're doing so well at such, an, yeah, such a young age. So what's, what's your goal in life? And do you want to pursue writing as a career in future? Or uh, tell us about that. Well, um, uh, I would like to say being a writer is not a passion. It's more like a hobby, you know? Okay. Uh, so I'm happy that this uh, writing career is getting through. So if I continue doing this a lot, and if I feel really happy, then it might be a goal in my life. But for now, for these days, my goal is uh, to do my all levels, ordinary level exams, mm -hmm. and um, then next steps, A level. So then join a university, well famous university in Sri Lanka, then at least finish my education career by doing a PhD. Yeah, that's, that's a really, really good choice because once you have a PhD, by, by the end of your PhD, you will have lots of experience in not just like doing research and writing, but it, it's a all round development and it will be really helpful for your writing as well because while pursuing your PhD, you would be made to write different kinds of manuscripts, articles, and you will have the experience of communicating to different journals and that, that will enhance your writing skills even more. Uh, so you're yes, in Sri Lanka and we are not much aware about the ambience uh, for writers in your country. So can you shed some light on that and how writing is seen as a profession in Sri Lanka? Um, writing in Sri Lanka is really good, you know, because Sri Lanka has a huge history you know, starting from the kings to present day. So uh, we learn history in school because, because of the old people who were really good at writing and doing amazing stuff, we get to learn history in our textbooks. If there wasn't good, if there wasn't good writers back in the day, even back in the day, we might not have history to learn, you know? So uh, history was good back day. Uh, history, history writers were also good at the day. So in the present day, there are amazing writers as well, like Martin Vikramasinghe and people like that who really likes writing and have uh, her career and a passion for writing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really interesting because. Uh, uh, we were not aware about how the how writing is taken as a profession in, in Sri Lanka. So it was really nice to know about that. Uh, so uh, as you mentioned that you also like to express your thoughts in the form of songs and write-ups. So and any uh, so are you like planning to take up singing or uh, being a writer? You already mentioned that you want to pursue it as a hobby for now. So as a singer, like, uh, how do you see it and uh, your future in it? So you want to pursue that as a hobby or you want to be a mainstream singer in future? Just just some, some thoughts on that. Yes, so uh, like writing, I also started singing at the age of uh, six, seven. Well, that's uh, because, because Whenever I sing, I really feel that my thoughts are flowing out. So I started my YouTube channel at the year of 2020, February. Okay. So uh, it's going really good because whenever, whenever we upload something, you know, if, if it's from our deepest heart, it really pays away by uh, people admiring it, commenting, liking, and doing stuff like that, it's really happy. Uh, it makes me really happy whenever I um, do something successful and not successfully in the beginning, 
but the last result is is getting a really good approach and so my seeking career is also really good at the time uh, i can sing in english and my own uh, language singhala so um, i would like to become a singer uh, in the future because a lot of uh, singers uh, in sri lanka get admired from not only from sri lanka but also from different parts of the world uh, like um, for example there was this one song which really got hit uh, on uh, south asia and it was trending as well so i'm really proud that sri lankan singers really get the chance to outshine yeah that um, as you mentioned that in in the beginning you struggled a lot with your channel and then eventually uh, you have more people seeing your videos now so i, I would like to tell my audience that you can definitely go on to omesh's channel and you can uh, see um, there his work you can appreciate it if you sub you can also subscribe it if you like it so in the end uh, would you like to share any message with the people who want to go, get into the writing or anything like you want to share with the audience like any anything yes so uh, my life motto is do what you love and love what you do so people who are watching this i would like to say if you are not if you think you're not good at writing you always you always will be good at something so being a writer is i'm not saying it's hard but it takes practice so before you um start writing something uh you should at least read you know newspapers books articles then you can be a more successful writer because you have read so much that whenever you get an topic whenever you see a topic you can just imagine how your essay or your uh, writing article is about and you can fill the blanks in the pages yeah yeah that's that's a really good message to all the audience because writing um, it's a, a lot of people think that it comes from within but it's it's not always the case you people who write something for before they write a line they have to probably read 100 lines to write that one line and it is very important that um, if you want to write something you have to read a lot um, and listen to people who write and take tips from them and, yeah and monomasami services has been trying a different kind of internship programs and mentoring programs where we whosoever is interested in lighting we arrange kind of seminars lectures and internships for people so to all the audience which is out there if you want to learn to write or if you want to brush up your skills you can go to our website and you will definitely find lots of content there which which would be interesting to you so and thank you so much omesh it was really nice talking to you and uh, learning about your experiences and uh, your writing style and everything uh, about you thank you so much for joining today thank you so much for interviewing me and it was a great time talking with you and uh, speaking about writing and how people can be inspired by winners from anonymous services so thank you again yeah thank you